Overview of Income Tax Return As prescribed under Section 24, Title 5, Title 6, and Title 7 of the National Internal Revenue Code as amended by Republic Act 10963, otherwise known as Train Law. Its Implementing Rules and Regulations Number 8-2018 Income tax rates for individual citizens and resident aliens earning purely compensation income and individuals engaged in business and practice of profession, ang Philippine tax system po natin offers the graduated income tax rates under Section 24, a2 of the Tax Code of 1997 as amended by the Republic Act 10963. Because of train law, na iba na po ang ating graduated in income tax rates. For those who are earning 250 and below, wala po silang income tax due. However, if uh Lampas po sila for 250,000 pesos, ang additional rate po natin starts at 20%, up to 35%, depende na po sa bracket ng taxable income natin. This taxable, uh, or this tax table is applicable only for taxable years 2018 to 2022. Ibig sabihin, ang tax table na ito is magagamit lang natin for this year. E what happened po next year? Starting taxable year 2023 or next year onwards, iba na po ang rate na gagamitin. Pero mananatili din po na uh, walang tax due for those individuals with taxable income of not more than 250,000 pesos. Pero if lampas po tayo sa 250,000 pesos, yung additional tax rates po natin will be 15% up to 35%. For purely self-employed individuals and or, pro or professionals, whose gross sales or receipts and other non-operating income do not exceed the VAT threshold of 3 million pesos, the tax shall be at the taxpayer's option. Meaning, pwede po siya mag-opt ng 8% income tax on gross sales or gross receipts in excess of 250,000 pesos in lieu of the graduated income tax rates and percentage tax or the income tax based on the graduated income tax rate. For individuals earning both compensation income and income from business or practice of profession, their income taxes shall be yung income from the compensation based on the graduated income tax rates. Second, for income from business or practice of profession. If the individual taxpayer's total gross sales or receipts eh, hindi po umabot sa, sa VAT threshold or dun sa 3 million pesos, may option po si taxpayer to avail 8% uh, income tax on gross sales or receipts and other non-operating income in view of the graduated income tax rates and percentage tax or the income tax based on the graduated income tax rates. So, paano po if the total gross sales of, or receipts ng individual taxpayers exceed the VAT threshold of 3 million pesos? Si taxpayer, wala na po siyang option to avail the 8%. Ang kaisa-isa na po na option niya is the tax, the income tax based on the graduated income tax rates na lang po.